Today, we will be remediating your test. The first problem is a similar triangle. So if we look at it, we have this smaller triangle right here, and it's got a 6 and a 0 0.9. So I'm going to go ahead and put 6 over 0 0.9. As I look at the 6, the 6 is on the bottom. What other number is on the bottom? Well, the 18 is the other number on the bottom, so it needs to go right next to that 6, because the 6 is on the bottom and 18 is. And you can put them either on top or bottom of the fraction, but the 6 has to be directly straight across from the 18. I'm going to go ahead and put the h here, and now I can times and divide. So I'm going to do 0 0.9 times 18 divided by 6, and I get, I'm going to type in my calculator, 2.7. I want you to pause the video right now, and I want you to try and do the second question. When you've done it, go ahead and unpause and look at the second question. There's more than one way you could do the second question, but your answer should be 12. Did you get 12? All right, the next question says write the equation for the graph. Well, the constant of proportionality for any graph is always y divided by x. Always, always, always y divided by x. So I'm going to just find a point. This point right here that I'm pointing at right there is going to be over 2, up 1. So the point is 2, 1, which means y is 1 and x is 2. So my equation, y equals 1 over 2x. So the constant proportionality to be 1 half, equation y equals 1 half x. Okay, go ahead and pause the video, and then when you're done, unpause it to check to see if you got the second one right. Okay, the second one is 2, 10. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So your answer should be y equals 5x. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next question. Okay, the next one, you're going to replace the x with the... Um, number that's in the table. So this one would be z z negative one half times zero. Well, anything times zero is zero. Next one we'll replace the x would be negative one half times two. Negative one half times two. I type in my calculator the negative buttons just below the three. So negative one abc two times two is negative one. Don't hesitate to use your calculator if you need to. Negative one half times four is negative 2. Okay, so then we go to graph it. We go over 0, up 0. Over 0, up 0 would be right here. Over 2, up negative 1. Over 2, up negative 1. That means down negative 1 because it's down. Over 4, up negative 2, which is really down because it's negative. Down negative 2. And right there is my line. Drawing kind of crooked, but that's the idea. Go ahead and pause the video, try the second one, come back and see if you did it right. All right, so I've got 0, 3, 1, 0, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 6, and that's my line. If your line doesn't match mine, if you're not sure how it matches, please raise your hand and ask a teacher to help explain it to you. Make sure you talk to your teacher. Don't just write down the answers. And let's go on to the next question. Okay, Mrs. Strong Dogs eats 5 and a half cups of food in one week. Mrs. Reader's Dog eats 12 cups of food in two weeks. Find the constant of proportionality for each dog. As I looked over your test, a lot of you missed this one because you tried to do it as one constant of proportionality when it's actually two constant of proportionality. So the first constant of proportionality is for Mrs. Straw. Her dog is eating five and a half in one week. So five and a half divided by one is five and a half. The second constant of proportionality is for Mrs. Reader. Her dog is eating 12 cups in two weeks. 12 divided by two is six. Two answers because there's two constants of proportionality. Okay, go ahead and try the second one. Again, there's two cups proportionalities for Mrs. Reader, and you can do it either way on this one. You can do the 3 divided by 22 or 22 divided by 3. You'll get one of those answers. And then for Mrs. Law, you can do 4.2 divided by 45 and get that answer, or 45 divided by 4.2 and get 10.71. So your chance to do the 0.14 and 0 0.09 or 7.08 and 10.71. But you do need to have two answers, two separate cost proportionalities. Okay, you got this last one. Okay, we have this table, and it's got cost in apples. It asks how much will 25 pounds of apples cost? If we wanted to put 25 on the table, we could, and we want to know what is the cost. Right there, we've got a perfect proportion set up. We're just going to do 45 times 25. Let me grab a pen here really quick. 45 times 25 divided by 15. And if you put it in a different spot and use different numbers, that's totally fine. There is more than one way to do these problems, but your answer is going to be 15. Same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and 
put in how the apples come out of 27 and put 27 right there and then the x goes there so now again the same thing i'm going to times and divide and i could use really any number on the table to do it i just happen to put it right there so 5 times 27 divided by 15 tells me i can buy nine apples nine pounds of apples with 27 dollars pause the video and then let's try, try the second one and then come back and check it all right, there's multiple units problems, but I got 4.5 and 50. That's the way I did it. And that will be our answer either, no matter how you did it. Okay, you got this. This is how you do it. If you have any questions on your test, make sure you're asking. Make sure you're trying those third questions. And then go get your test and let's get it fixed. You got this. Have a great day.